start right here. You're going to be here. We're going to get our right leg up to the right hand. We're going to go here, look up. It's yoga. It's, well, yeah, it's a yoga move. It's, it's also a runner's lunge. I'm also reaching up to the side, doing a side plank. Hand back down, leg back down, high plank. Here. So what's that supposed to be for? I don't know, it just looks cool. Oh. <laughs> no, it's for the, it's for the adductors, right? The core, it's gonna activate the multifidus, which is a muscle that goes up the entire spine. It's gonna activate your obliques as you twist, your shoulders. Give it a shot, big man. So from here? Uh, hips up, sir, hips up, more of like a push-up position right there. So one of the legs comes outside of one of the hands. Atta boy, that'll work, that'll work. There we go, there we go. Okay, now there you go, pop it up, breathe, and out. Hand back down, leg back down, kind of all together like one and then the other. And then the other leg. My guy, right there. That's why I called you my boy and not Pops. And then come down. So that's one repetition right there. Do nine more, brother, and then leave, okay? <laughs> okay. You don't got to go home, but you got to leave after nine more. <laughs> yeah. All right, David, so here comes the fun part. I know uh, I know this uh, this lady of yours can be a little bit of a handful. Oh. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna strap her down, bud. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Can I assist with? That? Oh, absolutely, brother. So you're gonna just gently pull down on this. You're gonna gently. Just... Well, yeah, yeah. You want me? There we go. Gently down this way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa buddy. Nice and slow. You, she hey. is. Uh, you will. You will pay the price later. So hold on, hold on. Let's check in with her. How are we doing, lady? I'm drinking. Okay, okay. Your 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 life is in the hands of your. You know. I should say your spine is in the hands of this guy. I can't, I can't vouch for his qualifications, but he's a stand-up guy. Oh my god. He's a stand-up dude. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of. Uh, there we go. We okay there, lady? Yeah. We okay? Mm -hmm. Champions go a little more. We okay? Yeah. Too much? Um, it's like there's Tiny pressure. Bit. Well, pressure's okay. Is it too much? Uh, no, it's. Totally okay, cool. you're gonna hang out here. We're gonna aim for ten today. Okay. Massey, all you have to do to loosen it is just flip that up and yeah. kind of hold it up. So if she needs a little bit of a break, just loosen it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where you can whisper sweet nothings in her ear, tell her how amazing she is. One hour, right? Uh, one, uh, one, <laughs> ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. You hang out there, my dear, yeah. and we're gonna, uh, Massey, check. Ned, you're asking how difficult were my graduate studies. Oftentimes I'd start at 7 a.m., end at 3, 4, 5 o'clock, then off to clinic duties or many, many hours of studying, so it wasn't easy. How did I do it so early? I graduated high school at 16. David, what's up, man? Thank you for watching the videos, and when you're inspired, remember that you're seeing a part of yourself in somebody else, man, so keep at it. All right, we just wrapped up another amazing day. I saw my man from Saudi two times, got him aligned, taking care of people, new patients coming in from everywhere. We had somebody come in from San Diego County today. It's such a blessing to serve. Got in a couple of workouts, you know, we're staying dialed. Now I got to run to a house call. It's a busy day, got the wife waiting at home. It's a blessing to serve. Thank you. I'm trying to answer all your questions. I got another one, and don't forget our Christmas giveaway. Uh, we've got 217 Svet. Hey, Dr. Jason, I just started watching your videos, and OMG, ha. <laughs> I need this really bad bad because three months ago I broke my collarbone in a moped accident that's rough I'm sorry rough bone to break I got surgery for it but I'm still in pain and tried everything but chiropractic treatment have you ever had a patient with a collarbone injury and how do you relax the clavicle nerve we don't relax the clavicle nerves you bring the spine into alignment you correct the muscle imbalances around the clavicle definitely go to a Cairo good luck finding one that knows how to work on that I mean bless up man like I'm just keeping it real it's tough um, but definitely go to Cairo, get aligned, and the body can heal, but likely you need somebody that's good at extremity. Um, next one is Gabriela Cruciata says, any natural remedies to help a pinched nerve in the shoulder? Hmm, try chiropractic, because it'll help you. If you have a pinched nerve, we align the spine, connect the brain and the body. There's a lot of stretching, things you can do to open the shoulders. Try chiropractic care. A girl has no name. Hey, Dr. Jason, huge fan and been following your channel for a while. Thank you. No name. Quick question. I'm not asking for you to claim that this cured neurological issues because I know you don't want to use those words. Correct. However, in your experience, have you found patients saying that they found neurological issues have gotten better after adjustments? Yes, in my experience, I have seen many neurological issues resolve under my care. Curious if there's any correlation between this and the biology side of mental health, i.e. depression, anxiety, other disorders. Yes, there's absolutely a correlation. Sorry for the lengthy question. Haha, <laughs> hope to hear from you. You know, depression is oftentimes, and I'm not a psychologist, I don't want to be one. I'm a student of human behavior, and as I have been for many years, I've taken care of people for 15 years clinically, and you see patterns in people. Um, my interpretation of depression is very simply that is a real thing. Oftentimes, 
you basically are here and you have these thoughts, beliefs, and standards up here, but there's a gap between where you are and between where you actually think you should be, but you haven't actually looked at where you're at and the steps to take to get where you want to go. So yes, there's a correlation. Think of it simply though like this. When the spine is out of alignment, the brain and body do not have an optimal connect. Your nerves flowing to your muscles, your organs, your tissues, etc., cannot have optimal function physiologically. We get disafferentation into the brain. Think of it as static -y signal, efferentation out to the muscles, organs, tissues, etc. You're not at your best. There are many other factors in depression and mental disorders. Um, there are some chemical imbalances and then there are some massive imbalance perceptions. Bless up. I got to run. Thank you for watching Daily Dub. Make sure you enter in our contest. We're giving away some amazing things for Christmas. I love and appreciate you. Thank you.